Ah, Mr. Welch. Gentleman is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman. Madam Speaker, a, about a year ago I got a call from Donna, a mother uh, who lives in Plainfield, Vermont, and this was her story. She had a son, has a son, who had his first job. It paid like nine bucks an hour, and it came with no health care. But they were excited that her son was getting out in the workforce, learning discipline, learning self-responsibility. But he lost the health care because he was no longer on her policy. He got in an accident. He's fine, but he has $20,000 in medical bills that were uncovered, and that is a burden on him, and it's a burden on the family. When, and about what reforms we need. And we've got to wrestle with the cost of health care. No matter how we pay for it, the cost can't go up higher than wages and salaries. But what we should do is improve what we have, correct what must be corrected, and get rid of what doesn't work. But to throw it all out, all these insurance reforms, health care for Donna's son, pre-existing condition, preventive care for seniors, where by getting care in time it's going to save us money, that's the wrong thing to do. When does it make sense to toss out the good rather than correct the bad? I yield back. Gentlemen,